the old truck. I'm a racist Republican gun owning schmuck. <laughs> Call me if you ever get some work on your plumbing. Well, hell, I guess you just say I'm a total redneck woman. Uh huh. Hey, I can't believe that's what people think about me. I mean, really? <laughs> I can't believe y'all think that. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, come on, come on. Uh oh, uh oh, come on. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Come on. I like Darth Brooks and all, you know? I mean, there's uh, there's 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 I've been to a Dixie Chicks concert before, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know how that constitutes me as all that, but, you know, sometimes it happens. L-E-S-L-I-E, y'all from Knoxville, Tennessee. I only wear red and black because I'm a gangbanger blood, B. I'm too real to get an education, fuck a degree. I drop down, I ain't gonna get my GED. I'll kick your ass, so don't even try to pull my card. Because I'm just another suburban white chick trying to act hard. <laughs> Dang, I mean, I'm a big Chicago Bulls fan, I'll tell you that right now. And, you know, red and black, I mean, that's just a great combo. I mean, red and black, you just can't go wrong with, with that. And I mean, I like rap music, but dang. I mean, is that what people think about me sometimes? I don't even know what a blood is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we know that ain't me, right? Right, right, right. right? So here we go. What's next? What's next? Like, hi, I'm totally from Tennessee, and I live in Farragut, and I'm totally upper class, OMG. <laughs> my mommy and daddy, they like paved the way, duh. I can't do anything my, on my own, Psh, duh. Oh my God, does this make me look fat? Don't say yes, because I'm a total spoiled brat. I mean, I grew up in Farragut, and you know, they're, they're pretty, pretty yuppity sometimes, you know, I mean, my parents are well to do, but, uh, you know, I didn't live in a mansion or nothing, you know, but, uh, that ain't me. This is me. Yeah. Yeah, all right, come on, come on. Yeah. At some point or another in my life, I was treated accordingly to all three types. Some of that treatment came from my own fam, so why did they think that that's who I am? Is it from, is it because someone else said so? Is it from a commercial or a TV show? Or is it from a music video? You might think that it's all funny games and the box that we stare at is there to entertain. But what's in your brain when you become so vain that you feel shame and are willing to drain your bank account to go under the knife, to change yourself so you might look better and feel better and be more confident. And you can do what you want because you're so independent. It's capitalism and greed at its finest, and if you succumb, you are not in control in the slightest. You are who you are supposed to be, and to be happy with it is what it means to be free. Not to change yourself so you can get ahead, or help your self-esteem so you can get out of bed. It's the fewest control in the masses, and that is not what we learn in math classes. We learn greater than, less than, and there are more of us than there are of them. Who do you think controls this here country? Viacom, GE, BOA, Pfizer, they're all feeling real comfy. While we sit back and let them pit us against ourselves, because to them, we're no more than little worker elves. Hmm. They don't want us to unite and fight for what's right. They want us to shut up and take a pill to sleep at night. Hmm. Then pop one to get through a day of constant vigilant marketing images showing us a way. The resources <laughs> are out there and all we have to do is care. Enough to put down our precious products and what others think or we're no more free than those locked in the clink. Thank you. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Word up!